Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Aditya and I welcome you to the Brainstorm Codings. In this video, I will show how to create instance methods in JavaScript. So let's get started. A method is a function which is written inside a class but it belongs to the instance of that class, not the class itself. So if we have a class and we have written a method inside it, then that method belongs to the object we create from that class, but not the class itself. So if I have a class rectangle and here I have a method, well, we declare a method just like we declare a function. Uh, just because it's inside a class that's why we call it as a method so this function says hi I am a rectangle okay so if I don't create an object and I just try to call this method using the class if I save this file and run this program you can see we have an error which says rectangle dot say hi is not a function so by using the class we cannot call this method so if I create an object use the new keyword and the name of the class and I call this method using this object you can see we have the message hi I am a rectangle so you can see that when we tried to call this method using the class uh, we got an error but now we are calling this method using the object using the instance of that class now we don't have an error we are getting the right message which says hi I am a rectangle now you can see why it is said that the method belongs to the instance of the class but not the class itself. So let me show you this again in the browser. So for that purpose I will create a folder, name it as client, create a file. So our file is instance methods.html. Let's add the JavaScript file we have. All right, let's save this file. And here in the J our JS file, let's print out the R1 object. I'll save this file. Let's run this HTML file in the browser. So we are in the browser let's open the console you can see we have the output hi I'm a rectangle and our rectangle class inside the class we have the object and inside this object we have the function we have the method say hi so you can see that this method belongs to the object not the class and if you notice one thing we have the constructor as well so inside the code we didn't create any constructor but when we do not create a constructor the javascript creates a constructor automatically to initialize the object now let's create two more methods the one method will give the area of the rectangle and the other one will give the perimeter so for that reason i need the length and the breadth of the rectangle so every rectangle must have the length and the breadth so every object should pass the length and the breadth inside this so let's create a constructor and this constructor will have two arguments length and breadth let's use the this keyword assign it to this argument do it for breadth as well And it doesn't matter even if we don't specify the length 
and the breadth here because if we don't do it then JavaScript will automatically do it so it's completely fine let's create the method for area so the formula for area is length into breadth and we use the this keyword again to refer to the length and breadth and the other method for parameter so the formula for parameter is 2 into length plus breadth well I'm making so many mistakes but that's completely fine we all learn from it and now as we have a constructor we need to pass the length and the breadth the values for length and the breadth inside these parentheses so length will be 20 and the breadth will be 10 if I save this let's go to the browser but before that let's call both of these methods with the r1 object so we want the area first and this area method returns the answer uh, the, the area of the rectangle so we need to call it using the console.log function so we can see the output let's do the same thing for the perimeter method save this file now go to the browser let's refresh this page and now you can see we have the object but now we have the answers as well so this is the area and this is the perimeter of the rectangle and we can even pass arguments to these methods so if I create a class circle and this class doesn't have a constructor so let's get to the method directly so we want to find the circumference of the circle and the cir circumference method will take two arguments the first one will be the radius and the second one will be the value of pi so we will give it directly which is 3.14 and it will return the circumference of that circle and if you notice just because we have passed the argument so these are the arguments the radius is the first argument the pi is the second argument so we don't need to use the this keyword when we are using these arguments And if I create an object for this class circle, and if I call this method circumference for C1 object, we need to pass the radius. Uh, it's completely fine even if we don't give the value for pi because we have already done that so we need to give the value for radius the radius will be 4 let's comment this out let's save this file and go to the browser so if I refresh this page you can see we have the output 25.12 which is the circumference of that circle so you can see that we have created both types of methods and the one met the method which does not take an argument and the method which takes some arguments so that's all for this video if you found something insightful something useful for you then like the video subscribe the channel so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one